Cooper made a stop in the east today. He was aboard Camp Lejeune checking on Hurricane Florence relief efforts. While there, the governor spoke to officials about what the Marine Base still needs as it continues to recover. Our Isabel Albritton was there and has more. The next hurricane season is only three months away and Camp Lejeune is still recovering from Hurricane Florence. Today, Governor Roy Cooper visited Camp Lejeune to shine light on the issues the Marine Base is facing. We're not dealing with 500 year floods anymore. We're, we're dealing with events that are going to occur more frequently. And so the military is looking at this as a way to upgrade and fortify these facilities. We want to do the same thing throughout the state. Nat Fay, public affairs officer for Camp Lejeune, says they have made the needs of the base known as far as rebuilding. We have a two, uh, you know, almost two billion dollars in mili military construction that we need to do and also 1.2 billion in repairs, another 0.2 billion in uh, critical infrastructure for communications as well and trailers that we need to house these Marines in for the next several years. All throughout the base, tarps are still covering the roofs of buildings. Faye says repairs need to be made before June. If another hurricane strikes, you know, we're, we may have to make some more budgetary considerations to make those fixes. And so the sooner we can get this money to make the necessary repairs, the better. Base officials say they understand Governor Cooper's concern for the community at large, as well as Camp Lejeune. Onslow County Schools and Carteret County Schools took a big hit during this hurricane. That affects the men and women who work on this base. So it's all integrated. Uh, we're all in this thing together. I think, if, uh, you know, I, I like standing with the Marines as we go to Congress. I think that's a positive thing for our state. So I think we can work together to do good things. Base officials say they appreciate Governor Roy Cooper prioritizing the needs of Camp Lejeune. In Jacksonville, Isabel Albert 9 on your side.